And here's the one thing. You know, we've been talking on this program about the uh, nine principles that you need to live with, and uh, we'll explain later on in the program. We have some, a new part of that to lay out tonight as well. But the ninth principle um, to show you that you're not alone and there is a way to fix everything is the government works for me. It's not the other way around. Well, let me show you, if you just understand that one thing, how it just changes everything. First, check out this picture with Harry Reid and a couple of Republicans after they worked out a compromise on the spending bill. Does, did anybody else, does anybody think that that looks like a giant roulette wheel behind his head? I mean, if the government were regular, you know, working people, they probably would have already thought the whole polar habitat thing, you know. Instead, what they're doing with the spending is just betting it all on Black 22, screaming, let it ride. They are gambling with your future and your children's future. Now, how are they going to pay for all of this stuff? Not exactly a state secret. They're going to print money, they're going to issue debt, and raise taxes, but only on people not like you. Now, back to the principle. If anybody in the government understood that they worked for us, and they had also actually ever held a real job, they'd know that right now, not really the best time to go into the boss and ask for a raise. I mean, that's not when you ask for a raise, when the times are tough. You pretty much go in for more money when you say, hey, things are going well, you know? When, when things are good, hey, I noticed that you know, you've been laying off a lot of people lately. That means more money for me? Not a good idea. But right now, President Obama and Chris Dodd are in your office about to demand more money to pay for illegal immigrants, to add back uh, welfare that uh, President Clinton rolled back in the mid-1990s, planting the seeds for universal health care, and they are going to give you that tax break of $13 a week, or about $600 a year. If I remember right, a very smart woman said, said something that perfectly sums that up. She said, quote, you're getting six hundred dollars what are you gonna do with that you go out and buy a pair of earrings Uh oh she probably may regret of setting that saying that because who said that michelle obama she was talking about the bush tax cuts last summer mm. okay back to the uh, ninth principle you're the boss the government works for you now the government is not just asking for a raise, they're demanding one. When the economy is down the old crapper. If Chris Dodd would come into my office or your office, he says, hey, I got some ideas going to help make the company money. If he had any credibility, I'd actually listen to him. And if he demands a raise, I would uh, gently explain to him the financial mess we're in. If he comes in and suggests things that are actually going to hurt the company while also demanding more money, I don't know about you, but I think... Uh, Chris, um, get the hell out of my office? No, actually, I think I'd say, get the hell out of my office. Oh, and by the way, bring a box, get all your stuff, take your pictures, beat it, deadbeat.